Welcome back, viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Oli Sinobe is my name. I'm not going to take long on this video because I'm just responding to some uh, questions from those uh, who are holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permit who want to know if they should go ahead and start applying for their UIF uh, or Provident Fund and any other employment benefits. Uh, before I go ahead with this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video and to share it. So we have received a number of questions uh, pertaining to whether people should go ahead and apply for UIF or apply for the Provident Fund. What we know is that the UIF uh, cannot be applied for uh, if you resign from your job. It can only be applied for by those who've been retrained. And if you are one of the ZEP holders who've been retrained, yes, you can go ahead and apply for the UIF, but you must also know that once you get a new job, you cannot continue getting the UIF. Uh, so for those who want to know if they should resign from their workplace and start uh, applying from for their benefits, like Provident Fund and other uh, such benefits, uh, we cannot right now tell you if you have to resign from your workplace we know that there's a lot of uncertainty uh, on what is going to happen especially because some people applied for their permits uh, and they haven't yet been given any outcome there are others who have been rejected but who later on received new messages uh, from vfs saying that they should uh, come and get uh, new outcomes which we don't know uh, what is uh, in them uh, i would like to urge those that have received such uh, 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 letters or such sms is to go ahead rush to their nearest ZEP uh, VFS offices rather and collect that outcome and then take a decision based on that. We know that we are left with uh, barely four months before the expiry of the grace period that was given to ZEP holders. We don't know if people are going to get these permits, these new permits. There are others who have applied for waivers and they haven't been given anything. So we cannot tell you if you are to go ahead and resign from your workplaces, but we do understand that that once uh, you have uh, resigned, your uh, your benefits need to be deposited into a bank account. Uh, which bank accounts are going to expire uh, for those who don't get uh, any new payments by the 31st of December? And we don't know what is going to happen to that. But what we know is that there are ongoing negotiations being led by the Zimbabwean community in South Africa as to what should happen to Zimbabweans get an extension of the of the grace period so that they can continue receiving their pay, their, their, their uh, benefits from their employers through the bank uh, the bank accounts that they already hold uh, so these are ongoing negotiations with the Department of Labor in South Africa, with the African National Congress, with the other departments uh, of the government of South Africa. We are not yet certain because the ongoing negotiations have not yet been concluded. Uh, but we hope that this is uh, going to be speedily concluded and uh, a, a way is found as to how Zimbabweans can benefit uh, from, can receive their benefits from their workplaces. Uh, until then, uh, this is where we leave it. We cannot right now uh, say what is going to happen. We should. We cannot say what you need to do, but we remain hopeful that whatever uh, outcome the negotiations will get will result in a better uh, solution for what is going to happen. You also know that uh, there is a court case that is going into uh, trial, or rather which is going to court uh, on the... In, in the first week uh, of October, uh, we were expecting this court case at least to give uh, to give direction uh, as to what is going to happen. We thank you very much. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Thank you.